tinnitus, that constant noise in the head or ringing in the ears, it sure can be annoying. But don't be fooled by sources that promise to cure chronic tinnitus with special formulas or exercises. Research it yourself. Scientists have been working on this for a long time. But hang on, in this video we will show you some proven ways to minimize it. Some tinnitus is temporary, caused by exposure to loud noises or temporary use of certain drugs in high doses. But when it lasts for more than six months, it's known as chronic tinnitus. It's especially common in people over age 55 and is associated with hearing loss. Many people worry that tinnitus is a sign that they're going deaf or have another serious medical problem, but don't worry, that is rarely the case. While there's no cure for chronic tinnitus, it can become less noticeable and more manageable over time. There are several ways to help tune out the noise and minimize its impact. First of all, let's make sure that you avoid things that could make it worse and also cause hearing loss. These include loud noise, impacted earwax, middle ear infections, and medications that damage the nerves in the ear. We've included a list of some of these in the description below. But what can you do to turn the volume down in your head? Here are some suggestions. Muscle tension in the jaw or the neck can make tinnitus more noticeable. Try this to see if it could be your problem. Clench your teeth together and tighten your jaw and see if the sound increases. Also, tighten the muscles in your neck and shoulders to see if it makes a difference. If it does, look for ways to relieve your muscle tension. This could include stretching, massage, chiropractic, or heat and cold therapy. Avoid its reoccurrence by paying attention to your posture, especially while using your phone or your computer. Make sure you get up and stretch if you're seated for long periods. You may also be able to reduce the impact of tinnitus by taking stock of your diet, physical activity, sleep, and stress level and taking steps to improve them. Exercise, nutrients, rest, and essential oils are important for the health of your ears. You can see our video about preventing hearing loss for more detail. Being exposed to loud noise or continuous background sound can increase the volume in your head even for quite a while afterward. You can reduce the tinnitus and also the risk of hearing loss by using earplugs or sound insulating headphones. Simple earplugs are easy to slip into a pocket or purse and can make a big difference, especially in a car or on an airplane. Some doctors recommend the use of masking devices, worn like hearing aids, that can make tinnitus less noticeable during their use and for a while afterward. But a specialized device isn't always necessary. Often, playing music or having a fan or a white noise machine on in the background is enough. You can also find playlists of white noise or soothing nature sounds that you can listen to with earphones at a low volume. So you can see that there are practical ways to reduce the sound in your head. But please remember, this is not intended as medical advice, and if your symptoms increase or begin to pulsate with your heartbeat, you should consult a medical professional. Now I'd love to know if this has been helpful to you, so if it has, please leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We have many other helpful videos, and we're continually posting new ones, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of them. We're here to help you to feel your best.